Hello, my name is Ali Duzette and I'm a medical intuitive. Um, today I wanted to do a session on something very specific. It is for um, people with, um, <laughs> sorry, it was going to be specifically for people with autoimmune disorders who feel scared or nervous about things getting worse because they're afraid to go to the doctor and you know contract COVID-19 or cause other problems or I've read on Facebook of people who had allergies and they would cough or sneeze or something in public and everybody gets mean mean to them right away and so um this seems like kind of an oddly specific fear but um but I felt like I should do a little session on it today. If you do have a condition that makes you very scared of the world situation right now, maybe you're not necessarily scared of COVID-19, but you don't want to be dealing with having to go to the hospital or seeing a doctor while everybody else is freaking out about this, then um, this session is also for you. So let's get started. If you are watching this, then... Um, I mean, you've just given me permission in your mind to access your energy field, and I'm going to access the whole group's energy field at once. And let's begin. <sighs> Go ahead and take some deep breaths. Tuning into this energy. Fear, fear, fear comes up. Um, just a whole lot of fear. I feel it in the throat. It feels like a fear of death, a fear of sickness, a fear of... Um, just kind of a generalized fear of everything that's happening right now. I don't know what's going to happen next. Can it clear yet? No. Irritation with self, with others, no. With the, with the whole medical system and um, feeling stressed because it says the medical system has let me down so many times before. Um, I would hate to have things get so bad that then I had to go in to the doctor and be stuck there and have this horrible experience and then still get no answers. It says like, that would just be the worst and I'm so irritated about it. Can it clear now? Yes, go ahead and breathe it out. Another fear comes up, a fear about parents, a fear about parents um, contracting COVID-19, parents, um, what would what would parents do if I contracted it? Um, a lot of fear about possibly infecting the elderly or more susceptible or being a burden on those who are elderly or more susceptible. Can it clear now? Yes, go ahead and breathe it out. <sighs> Go ahead and tap on your forehead. You can tap, tap, tap and breathe it out. All that fear. So I'm checking on a belief system. For the whole group, do we have a belief of I know how to live without a fear of illness? And I'm getting a no. So go ahead. Releasing a block against that. <laughs> hi, you're, hi, go play with the little babies, go. Um, if you can, go ahead and imagine a tube of light coming down from the heavens, coming right into the top of your head. And in a packet of blue light, imagine um, kind of like an envelope, and it will be information on how to live without fear of illness, without fear of getting sicker, than you may already be. Um, it's knowing how to live without feeling afraid all the time of health-related matters and of possibly infecting others. So imagine that envelope going in and diffusing through your whole body. Okay, I'm testing for the group as a whole. I know how to live without being afraid of um, of sickness, illness, getting worse, I'm getting a yes on this, not to 100%. Um, 90%. Um, so that's pretty good. 
Fear, fear, fear is coming up again for more than one reason, no. It says it is a certainty that if you catch this illness, then it will kill you. And it is this panic of I'm high risk. I would get sick. I would die. Then what would happen? What would happen to me? What would happen to my family? It would hurt so bad. I don't want to die that way. Um, lots of fear. I'm seeing, um, I saw, I saw a thing on Facebook today where somebody ordered pizza and then they like disinfected the boxes and like put on gloves to like get the pizza out. And like, it was this whole to do cause they were so scared of the germs on the outside of the pizza boxes. So that's what's like coming into my mind right now is this fear of all of this, uh, just germs everywhere. Can it clear yet? No. It says I have to put on my gloves. I have to protect myself. Um, and so here comes an idea and it says, what if we let God protect us? And we do, we be responsible, you know, we wash our hands and, you know, don't stand right next to people that are coughing and so on. And, um, but instead of stressing out over every possible little microbe that could be on the pizza box, we, uh, we just take a deep breath and trust God to protect us and know that um, God is not going to take us before our time and that he is not going to let us um, suffer needlessly. Uh, just this trust in the all-knowingness of God and the universe and that we don't have to live in constant fear. A story comes into my mind of um, a 100-year-old person in China that um, survived uh, and recovered from COVID-19. And I believe without even any real medical interventions, she got sick and she got better and, um, she's a hundred. So guess what? Like if it's your time, it's your time. And if it's not, it's not. And if it's not your time, not even this can take you out. So, um, can we breathe in a feeling of it can be safe to trust in the divine timing for my whole life? but specifically for this particular instance. There's a resistance and it says it's a blaming of self of God. Sorry, not of self of God. Can I clear yet? No, this wasn't fair. He's destroyed our livelihoods, destroying my health. This is all God's fault. I can't trust him and I'm angry and mad. Can I clear yet? No. I've been betrayed. I can clear now. Go ahead. Tap, tap, tap. Um, things are coming up like, what did I ever do that was so bad that I deserved to be jobless, that I deserved to have health problems, that I deserved to have family members that have let me down, that I deserved to have, um, you know, terrible childhood experiences, that I deserved to have neglect or abuse or other traumas. What did I ever do? God is a betrayer and I can't trust him here. Breathe it out. Okay. Okay, go ahead and shake it out a little bit. Take a deep breath. Breathe in a sense of peace. Go ahead and imagine yourself standing with your arms wide, feeling um feeling safe and secure in the sunlight, even when other people are living in fear and terror, that you can just breathe in the sunlight and and feel peace instead of the terror. And um, that's it for today. Keep doing your deep breaths, drink some water, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.